What's up everybody? Today we're going to have some freaky air fryer fun in the kitchen. So with no further fanfare, no BS, no stall, let's just get right down to it. I love air fryers, in fact they're one of my favorite ways to cook things. And today we're going to look at the Ravsun 17 quart air fryer right here. So the air fryer we're using today actually has trays inside. Every other air fryer I've used has just had a big basket. So the trays are going to more represent an oven. And it's got a lot of presets up top, so you don't have to fudge around with times and temperatures. Now, air fryers cook using air. There's actually a heating element way up top, of, yeah, right there, and the, a fan that'll force the heat down. So things in the top racks actually will get crispier, they'll get hotter faster, and things in the bottom take a little longer to cook. Air fryers cook more similarly to regular ovens or microwaves. I don't know why the, the word fryer got stuck in the name. I guess it's good for marketing. So let's actually see what we're going to be cooking today. So I took a gander in my freezer and I noticed I had quite a few things that should do pretty well in an air fryer. I did one video with an air fryer before in which I cooked up a bunch of chicken nuggets. Got some pizza rolls, got some tater tots, some taquitos, garlic knots, all good stuff and all things that should do fairly well in an air fryer. So we'll be able to give this thing a good test. I think we're going to start things off by frying up some pizza rolls. Gonna open the bag. And you know them, you love them, and they're going to go right in the air fryer. I'm going to put these on top to get them nice and crispy. And then we're going to try some of the old reliables. We're going to do some chicken nuggets. If you've ever done chicken nuggets in a microwave, they kind of end up either being soggy or really dry and kind of burned. But when they come out right from an air fryer, they actually have a really good texture. It's, it's so weird because you would swear they were actually fried, but they actually came out of an air fryer. We're going to have some fun. Going to do some tater tots because I guess nothing goes with pizza rolls and chicken quite like potato. So gonna do a couple handfuls of tater tots. Some good classic American junk food. All the carbs a growing boy needs. Can't decide, but I think I'm actually gonna toss in some White Castle sliders. It's kind of funny here in Victorville, I'm only about two hours away from the nearest White Castle. It's actually in Jean, Jean, Nevada. Okay, now it's time to get this, th get this sucker going. So let's look here up here on top. We've got a lot of different things going on here. So the, the first thing we got to do, we got to plug this thing in. And I kind of like how there's no ground, so it'll fit into most things. And then the front light's up there. Press the power key. And then let's just do a preset. Let's, oh, I don't know. Let's press pizza. So we got the temperature at 360. And let's jack up the time to about 25 minutes. And away we go. The red light with the fan comes on. You can hear the air going. Now you, you can hear the air fryer going, but I'm feeling impatient, so I'm just going to be munching on this gas station sushi I found. I'm gonna stop it real quick and see how things are going. Everything in there is looking pretty good, starting to brown. So I think we're on our way to success here. Let's let it continue. And that's all you gotta do. Close it back up and it just continues right where you left off. It actually gets really warm sitting in front of an air fryer. I've never done this, never really done this before, just sat in front of it, but I have nothing else to do. Just waiting about five more minutes and then we'll be ready to eat. I'm fresh out of crab juice, so I got Mountain Dew to help me wash it down. Looks like we got a cool down phase. I'm starting to lose my patience here. Come on, come on, air fryer, get to it. Well, let's pull that out. Oh. They look very much golden brown, and they're stuck. <laughs> Gonna have to get those off. 
The pizza rolls are nice and crispy. I'm hoping there's still a little ooey gooey on the inside. So let's see what else we have here. Chicken nuggets on row two here. Uh, they look done. They're a little more flexible. I mean, not as stuck. But they feel crispy, actually. I felt a couple uh, between filming, and they are they are the right texture, I think. And that leaves us with the White Castle sliders. Looks like the cheese got a little done. And the tater tots are nice golden brown. So let's go ahead and transfer that over to the plate. And here is the air fryer goodness. So let's see. Let's see what those tater tots are all about. Just about as good of a tater tot as you can hope for. It's well done and it's still got a little bit of moisture on the inside so it's not just dried out. Let's check out those pizza rolls. No. I did use the pizza setting and there's still some moisture. I can still taste the marinara sauce and the cheese on the inside. But you probably don't want to cook your pizza rolls so close to the ceiling. Then one of my favorite foods to eat out of the air fryer are chicken nuggets. And they have that perfect texture. It's almost as if they were deep fried. Brown, crispy on the outside with a hint of juiciness. Still quite juicy on the inside. Think of the texture of nuggets you get when you eat fast food and that's pretty much what you get out of an air fryer when it's done right. Then I'm gonna try the, the burger, the slider here. Now the cheese got nuked. The bun got nicely toasted. So the cheese on the inside of the burger is still okay. It's still You can still taste it. You can still feel it. But the part on the outside is the one that just got totally dried out. That toast texture in the White Castle buns is not something you typically experience. So as far as I'm concerned, this air fryer gets it done. And some of the nuggets got more brown than others. This is actually a really good one. Got a solid crunch. And it's still nice and juicy on the inside. Fortunately, those pizza rolls flew a little too close to the sun. They probably got more crunch than most people would want. But that was my that's my mistake. So if you've never used an air fryer and you've always thought about, hey, maybe I want to try one, I mean there's really nothing to be worried about there. As straightforward as any kitchen appliance nowadays, air fryers have existed for years. So thank you for joining me while we checked out this new air fryer. If you're curious about it, I have it on the link down in the description section below. So I'll see you all. Excuse me, in the next video. Till we do it again. Stay in school, don't do drugs, and eat like a freak.